But first, new developments in the search for a local couple presumed dead in the Sacramento River. We start tonight with de developing news in West Sacramento. Authorities believe they have finally located that tow truck on the bottom of the Sacramento River. A husband and wife are presumed dead inside this wreckage, and crews have been searching for the truck for nearly a week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherman Roger. And I'm Tony Lopez. Fast moving and murky water has made the search more difficult. CBS 13's Yasmin Hassan is live for us in West Sacramento with the latest on this. Yasmin. This is a major breakthrough. Crews just telling us in the, within the last 30 minutes or so that they have believe they believe that they have located the tow truck right in the middle of the river, about 39 feet underwater. But because the conditions are so severe, no one has actually touched it or seen it. We can't see a picture. We can't understand what's going on down there unless we send a diver. There's been a lot of confusion about why it's taken nearly a week to recover the tow truck and the two people presumed to be inside. So far, we know we're missing, but we don't know he's dead or not. The water is running at about four feet per second. That's too fast and too dangerous for local teams. That's why today a commercial dive team was called in to help and new sonar equipment. Today, we have a professional team out here that this is what they do for a living. And this is how they make their living. Using sonar, crews now believe they have located the tow truck. The machine sends out sound waves. Those waves bounce off the object. How long it takes for the echo to return is then measured. They believe those measurements are about the same as the tow truck they are looking for. This sonar unit is mounted on the back of one of our boats. So it sends a signal down to the bottom of the of the river. Yeah. And it sends a signal back. Okay. Which helps map the area. This spot at the center of your screen was something the machine detected earlier today. They couldn't tell what it was, just that something was there. When divers went down, they discovered it was actually a pile of trees. There's, you know, tires, cars, all the things that you would think would be in the bottom of a river. They're likely in this area. Adding to the difficulty is the visibility or the lack thereof. You can't see your hand in front of your face if you're a diver in the water. Right now. Now that they have located the tow truck, a whole new process begins. How to get the tow truck out of the water. Right now, the, the plan is to bring in a barge with a crane, but there are two pipelines running through the river. So right now, they are going to have to coordinate with PG&E to figure out the safest plan to get the tow truck and hopefully those family members out of the river. Yeah, it's hard to say that this is good news, but hopefully with some time, it's going to give this family some closure. Yasmin, thank you.